In Microsoft Stream, you can use channels and groups to organize and grant permissions to your video. It's helpful to understand how channels and groups are different. Channels are an organization method for videos, but not a permission method. Channels don't have permissions on their own. If viewers follow your channel, they can get updates on new videos added to it. When you create a channel, you decide whether it's a company-wide channel that anyone in your organization can add and remove videos from, or if it's a group channel where you can limit contributors. Company-wide channels are great for organizing videos by topics and providing a way for community-driven content curation. Videos marked as viewable by everyone in the company can be added to these company-wide channels by anyone within the organization. Groups in Microsoft Stream are both a way to organize videos and control access to videos. Groups allow you to define a set of owners and members of a group. Use group channels when you want to determine who can see and who can upload videos. You can make groups for teams, departments, or any other set of people. If you want to broadcast out information to most of your company, make the group available company-wide. If you want only the owners of the group to be able to add and edit videos for the group, uncheck this box to make members viewers only. Each group gets its own mini portal. There's a highlights page that shows trending and new content within the group. You can search for videos directly in the group. You can even add further organization to your group by creating group channels for the group. When you make a group in Microsoft Stream, it creates an Office 365 group that can be used across Office 365. If you already use Office 365 groups in your organization, you can start using those groups in Microsoft Stream right away. With the combination of company-wide channels, groups, and channels within groups, you can customize Microsoft Stream to be just right for sharing your videos.